How's it going guys, RXXC aka The Rage and Cajun here and uh, I told you guys that I would be talking about this Digimon uh, TCG and finally the starter decks came out in Japan. So uh, for those of you who don't know this game isn't currently out in America or any English speaking version of the game currently. Um, so right now we have to deal with the Japanese cars but on the awesome Facebook group that uh, everybody who's kind of into this game has been a part of. Uh, we have a lot of translations, so it's actually really easy to pick up and play the game. And of course you've seen my tutorial video uh, also on the channel. Uh, so I'm posting this on the Facebook group, so for those of you who are the first time watching me, welcome. Uh, I'm usually doing Bakugan content for the new Bakugan TCG, um, but since I was a young, young child, I have been a Digimon fan. So. Um, I'm actually really excited about the game, and uh, so I ordered the three star, uh, starter decks, and with the starter decks came the Digitama um, sleeves, which are actually really awesome, with a really nice hollow on them, um, and I'm going to be using those for my Digitamas, obviously, and uh, also, this is the um, promo pack. Uh, I think this came in Japan if you bought so many packs of the Battle Spirits Digimon um, card game. If you bought 10 packs of the Battle Spirits thing, you got this as a promotion for the new game. Um, so this is actually really awesome. And then of course the three starter decks. So we're going to blow through this. Uh, um, I'll try to cut it down so it doesn't take too much time, but let's go ahead and go through the promo pack. Uh, I'm going to be kind of talking about card quality and stuff. Uh, those of us in Bakugan know that that is a uh, big problem. Uh, these are some sleeves that you could actually get um, if you ordered them. I did not because uh, I use uh, certain sleeves when I do anything, um, but they're actually really cool. And this we'll talk about in a second. Uh, this is the advertisement for the starter decks, which are in front of you here. So um, this is for when you play the game. And uh, here we go. So uh, first off, we'll look at the card back. It's actually really uh, nice and the card quality is uh, really good. You can see the cuts on all the cards here. Actually pretty even all the way through, not too much damage or anything. A little bit on the corner here, but these are promos and it's kind of like their first run of doing anything. So these might be a little different, but let's take a look. So I actually had two packs of these, I've already seen them, but this is for you guys. So these are all hollow and of course Japanese, um, but this is Agumon. Uh This is the promo Agumon with uh, the really cool art. It's the same art from the pack art, if you saw it. Um, and uh, not much to say, the uh, effects and stuff on these aren't that great. <laughs> Um, this one destroys a Digimon with 3,000 DP or less when you play it. It's okay. Uh, there's better things though. So, uh, Piamon here, uh, Gabumon. Hollow on these is actually pretty cool. Um, I always forget this guy's name, but that's the uh, one that turns into the Walrus. Ikakumon. I forgot his name though. And Patamon, uh, Dylan's favorite over here. And Gabumon. So, uh, which is weird because this is actually a level four or a stage four and that's the only one in the pack but anyway these are the cool promos these are probably going to sit in a binder for me and uh they're really nice but interesting thing here is the starter deck so let's go ahead and get into one of them all right guys uh we are going to break into the blue deck first uh this one is crowned by metal guru ruman um and uh he's a lot of people's favorite uh there's a really cool like uh 3d um sculpt sculpture with all the guru mons on it that's actually Insane, uh, very expensive, but I have seen it as I've been re-diving into Digimon here lately. And uh, these decks are really hard to open. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the second take of I was trying to, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get in here. Okay, here we go. Woo. All right. Do you so, get these? Open them from the bottom. Yeah, open them from the bottom when you get these. Uh, the top is is too hard to get in there and figure out. So, all right, here we go. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm very excited. Uh, and I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> There's a little Google Translate app, uh, which we could pull out for fun here in a little while. Uh, but these are, these are rules? Probably. Oh, that's really cool. So they include these little cards that have the rules on them, um, which I've kind of explained in my little battle video, so I don't need to do that. I'll take this off. Little, little doohickey here. All right. So, okay, so, um, Sorry, I had to deal with getting a good angle on this. But again, here's the back of the cards, and we are going to get into the blue deck here. So, this is what's called a Digitama card. Uh, this is Sunamon. Um, this is what you start off with in the raising area. And so, 
because of that, the card back is different. So this is white, and the normal one is blue. Oh, that's kind of a spoiler, but whatever. Uh, so that's the difference there. Um, so these kind of go off to the side. So I think you get four of these, and these are just kind of like your little base, base dudes. So we have a couple of these. Two, three, four. Um, what is his name? I forgot his name. But it's not on there. It's not on here. Well, thought we had translations off to the side, but There's we don't. No translation for it. Oh, of his name? Yeah. It's not on the card. Uh, Gomamon. Gomamon, yeah. So this is Gomamon. Uh, this is your first level three in the deck. Uh, and as you know, and Digimon, anything can kind of evolve into anything. So um, this can come from Sunamon too, even though some of you know it doesn't. But Gomamon, he's vanilla. He doesn't have any effects or anything. Two costs, 3,000 DP. Uh, and the one that you all most likely know here is uh, Gabumon. So uh, he is the star of the show. And what's his inheritability over there? Uh, discard one Digivolution source from the bottom of one of your opponent's level five or lower Digimon. Cool. Yeah. So he's kind of the one you're going to want. This uh, kind of. Uh, this is, I think, Bearmon or something, wasn't it? Yeah, Bearmon. Bearmon. Uh, he's your little vanilla uh, level three. Um, you get a couple of those in these little decks. So, for those two. Here we go, this is a Kakuban, no him. Um, this is your vanilla uh, four, level four, 5,000 DP, uh, pretty standard. Most of the, uh, the decks are really similar uh, when you start seeing them. Ah, yeah, Garurumon, here we go. Uh, he is really, really awesome and good looking. Um, he's got an inheritable ability, what's that? Discarded. Digivolution source from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. Yeah, so blue is about discarding uh, sources and getting memory. So there's a lot of blue cards that are going to come out later that get rid of other Digimon and um, because of that get uh, memory from it, from abilities and stuff. So this is the blocker in the deck. That's what the little uh, red thing here is. It's blocker and in all these decks there's going to have something that looks just like this uh, stat wise. Uh, this is 6,000. Um, and it has blocker, so if they attack you, you can turn it sideways, block the attack, uh, and you destroy this or fight with this. Um, and if you want to fight with this on your turn, you have to pay two, and they all do the same thing. So when we get to those later, uh, you'll know. But uh, you get four of these, and that's really good because you need blockers. And I think we're getting into fancy stuff. Yeah. Ooh, I love the little border on this. I didn't even know it was like that. It's like a gold border around the picture. That's actually really cool. This is uh, Wergeru Ramon, um, and he is kind of a uh, really important part of the deck. Uh, read his skill. Uh, when your opponent has a Digimon without Digivolution sh Source, security attack plus one. When this Digimon attacks the security, it reveals one extra card. Right, yeah, so that's security attack plus one. So, yeah, like I was saying, you're removing digi Digimon sources, and if you attack with that, whatever, uh, you get plus one security attack, which is like double hit to the life, which is huge. Uh, so this is a very big, important part of this deck, and you get four of these, which is great. Uh, this is um, Sunamon? Yeah, Sunamon. Um, right? Zudomon. Zudomon, Zudomon, yeah. He's really cool. Uh, he... Gets rid of a source, I believe, right? right when did you evolve? Discard two Digivolution sources from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. Yeah, so this is like a big deal, especially for uh, Wergarurumon there. Um, so you're going to want to like get this out and then Wergarurumon. He's really cool. Really cool art. Love him a lot. Uh, very, very awesome. And we're getting the shiny stuff and I'm getting excited. Oh man. Oh, okay, here we go. Here is, there's different names for him or whatever, but this is Pleasimon. Um, this is your level six. And I'm really glad he has like a gold border and stuff. But man, I'm really, really happy here. <laughs> I'm really happy I got these cards. But uh, he's like a full art vanilla, really powerful. And he is your alternative to the main boy here, which looks amazing in real life. War uh, Metal Guru Man. Um, his is like the coolest skill in the deck. Um, if when you attack, you can make him active. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Really powerful. Uh, basically, you you can attack and then not be attacked. That's kind of what you're doing, uh, and you don't get destroyed. So, uh, I think you get two of these here, and they are very 
very nice. Um, and now you have your tamers. Granted, this is not the best one out of these three sets, so I'm not going to cover it too hard. Uh, but he is there. Um, I forgot his name. Matt. Yeah. Yeah, Matt. Uh, if uh, your opponent doesn't have a, if your opponent has a Digimon out with no uh, evolutions under it, he uh, you get a memory, which is your energy for the turn. Uh, I don't know what this is called. What's it called? Vulcan's Hammer. And what does it do? Plus one memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this Dang. is the zero cost. Zero cost plus one energy for the turn. Uh, it's just, I think it's going to be kind of like a little staple in blue. That's the um, main, but then there's a security effect. Right, it activates it, so... Or no, you put it in your hand. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't say? No. Okay, it just says well. security, get plus two memory. Main, plus one memory. Oh, yeah, security, get two memory? Okay, yeah, so when you flip this over, if you take damage, security effect activates and you get two memory, which is... Nice, it, it moves it down. Um, this one uh, is important. Sorrow Blue. Do. Sorrow Blue, what's it do? Choose one of your opponent's Digimon without Digivolution sources. That Digimon cannot attack or block until the end of their next turn. Right, yeah, so this is how you're kind of stopping them from doing anything uh, if they don't have a uh, evolution source under them, which is, again, what you're doing with Blue. I know this is a good card. The security ability, ability on that one, though, was all of your security Digimon get plus 7,000 DP until the end of your turn. Oh, yeah, that's really good, too. What is this, Wolf's Claw? Wolf's Claw. Choose one of your Digivolution sources and play it as separate Digimon without paying its cost. Security, activate this card's main effect. Right, yeah, so uh, this is a pretty cool card, too. Uh, and then uh, we have two of these, and this is the big one of the deck. Ice Wolf Claw? Yeah. Main, return one of your opponent's Digimon back to their hand. That Digimon's Digivolution sources are discarded. Yeah. Security, activate this card's main effect. Yeah, so this is kind of your in-deck kill a thing, almost, pretty much. I mean, you put it back to hand. Uh, so that is blue. Uh, we'll tear down, and we will move on to a different one. All right, we are now going to break into yellow, uh, kind of hosted by Angemon there. I don't know why, because Seraphimon's in here, and he's a really good card in the game. Um, and you'll see why when we talk about him here. Um, yellow is like one of the really most interesting because um, you're doing a couple different things you're lowering you're lowering the DP of your opponent's Digimon uh, with the effects of some of your Digimon but because of that the roll cards are yellow for this one yeah everything's themed and everything so um, honestly it's, it's really good quality stuff uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm opening it right now uh, it's actually you know card game wise pretty legit um, Good company makes it. We are into the deck now, and we are going to start off with Tokemon. He is the Digitama, which is the baby, like we said earlier. He has inheritable skill, which does... When your opponent's Digimon is destroyed because its DP was reduced to zero, this Digimon gets a thousand, plus a thousand DP until the end of your turn. Yeah, it's actually really cool. Uh, you'll see why. Again, uh, there's some stuff in this deck where you are getting rid of DP. Um, this is Palmon. Pa. Oh, that one's a vanilla, huh? Yeah. I forgot her name. Salomon. Salomon, yeah. I kind of had it. Uh, this is your vanilla uh, three, or one of your vanilla threes in here. Um, I actually forgot what the other one is. Oh, yeah, this guy. I forgot his name. What's his name? Oh, I just saw it. Yeah. The ones without abilities you have to go back for. Tapermon? Yeah. Tapermon, yeah. Um, he's a little stronger, obviously. Um, and it's just, you need you need these level threes in your deck. So for the starter deck, you just need them. And your favorite, Patamon. What does he do? Patamon. Uh, your turn plus once per turn. When your opponent's Digimon is destroyed because its DP was reduced to zero, get. Oh, translation's wrong. Get plus one memory. Right, okay, yeah. Uh, this is actually a really good thing to have underneath Seraphimon, which again we're going to get to eventually. Angemon. So I'm actually not even used to this because he's not in the demo. So what does Angemon do? Uh, if your security is four or more, get plus one memory. That's actually really good. Okay, cool. Um, five costs, two, two to evolve, 4,000. Pretty regular level four here. Uh, and you only get two of these, which sucks. I don't know why they do that with the uh, the like main guys in the deck. Uh, but there's Gatamon here. She is the um, vanilla uh, level four, which is okay. But now we can get to the blocker, which is Unimon. Um, and like I said, this is going to be the same thing as the other one. Uh, but it's Unimon and it's yellow. So... You block, if you want to attack, uh, you have to pay two. And then when attacking, get minus two memory. That's what I mean. That's the same. Oh. Like pay, memory is your energy. 
So like if you're paying, you're minusing. Mm -hmm. It's because it's moving on the chart, so it's technically minusing. So this is Magna Angemon, again with the gold border, which looks hella nice. Um, he's really good too. So when you um, attack, you can subtract somebody by a thousand, which is great. Um, seven costs three to evolve. You're going to be evolving into this. You want to. Uh, yellow does really well when you evolve all the way up. Angel Woman, I don't know. So what does she do? If your security is three or less, recovery plus one, which means place one card from the top of your deck onto the top of your security. Oh yeah, so this is the recovery card. So I haven't actually had time to play with her uh, because she's not in the app as well. Oh, she's interesting. This is Holy Jermon, the uh, the big boy vanilla. Um, really nice, awesome artwork. Uh, full art style here with the gold borders. It's it's honestly gorgeous in person. Um, ooh, I just spoiled the, the granddaddy here for you. Oh, this card's amazing. This is Seraphimon. Look at that. Look at that hollow, man. With that rainbow light and stuff. Holy crap. All right, so he's weaker than our other uh, big boys. Um, but he he is that because you can see a little minus 4,000 here when you attack with him you minus uh, a Digimon by 4,000 and earlier we had Magna Angemon which minus by a thousand but again that's stacked under him so you'll be seeing this and he's gonna be getting you know you minus something by a thousand minus something by 4,000 so you're really subtracting by 5,000 which kills a lot of things so like that's your level fours and stuff uh, like Gatamon here so if they're just waiting with a level four, you, you kill it and then you attack their security for free. So he is um, good. <laughs> you, you, you like him. You love to have him. This is one of the best tamers in the game so far, I think. Um, he makes your security Digimon uh, plus 2,000 and these stack. So if I have two of these, um, you're going to be hitting something with 4,000 more DP in the stack, which is annoying. Um, normally when you're playing yellow, you're just going to have to knowingly sacrifice what you're attacking with. Uh, I have no idea what this card is. Uh, Gate seen. of Destiny. Main one of your Digimon gets plus 3,000 DP until the end of the turn. Security, all of your Digimon and security Digimon get plus 5,000 until the end of the turn. Add this card to your hand. That's good too. Um, so you get hit uh, on the security here and you buff everything else for the rest of the turn so hopefully dissuades them from attacking anymore and you get to add this to your hand and get 3,000 next turn. That's actually pretty good. Interesting, I haven't seen that card uh, in my stuff here. Uh, this is... Fire Tornado. No, yeah. Oh, nope, that is Heaven's Charm. Yeah, this is subtract a Digimon by 2000. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then security, add this card to your hand. Right, yeah, so this, with your uh, Seraphimon, gets you up to 7000 uh, subtracting, which is getting into level six territory, uh, sometimes. Um, so this actually is like a really good uh, action in the deck here. And you only get two of them, which is good re good reason. Uh, this is Fire Tornado. I'm not exactly sure what this does. One of your opponent's Digimon gets security attack minus three yeah. until the end of their next turn. Mm -hmm. The security, or, and then security is all of your security Digimon get plus 7,000 DP until the end of your turn. Yeah, so um, basically think about it as everything starts off with security attack plus zero. So you have one security attack. Um, red, as we go to it in a little bit, is going to up the security attack. So they're super aggro. So basically you gotta get rid of red uh, before they can just kill you. And that's kind of what you're going for. Um, this is gonna help you by just subtracting that. But basically, if you put this on something normally, you're saying that if they attack you, they're not gonna take a security card. Um, so that's actually kind of nice. It's kind of a wall. Uh, you get four of these, which is nice. And I don't know what this is. This is the... Seraphimon? Yeah, it's minus 10,000. Uh, yeah, Strike of the Seven Stars. Yeah. Cool card. Uh, this is minus 10,000, so obviously it's a kill on pretty much anything. And if it's not, you just attack with Seraphimon and you, you finish the job. So yellow's actually really cool and really fun to play. Um, and it's really interesting. But now we move on to the big daddy, which is red. All right, we are breaking into red now. Got it open for you here. Um, and as Dylan pointed out earlier, um, what are you now, Vasivo? <laughs> He's changed his name, a man of many names. Um, we have the uh, red now, uh, rule cards, which uh, are really nice to have if you speak Japanese. Oh wait, these are colored yeah. differently too. Oh, that's what you were saying. 
Okay, so your little uh, energy keepers are different colors as uh, well. Don't look what was in my hand. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's actually really awesome. Okay, so let's move into it. I think I know all of these. Uh, this is, well, I say that in the first one. I'm uh, messing up. Coromon? Okay, so this is Coromon, um, and you get 1,000 DP to the Digimon that this is attached to at the beginning of the turn. So your first little taste of aggro in the red deck here. Um, he's really cool. Uh, Piamon. Biamon or Piamon? I keep saying Piamon. Biamon. Biamon. All right. Uh, you're vanilla, uh, level three. Uh, again, you just kind of need these to play. Uh, so it's good to have. Agumon, the uh, the main event here. Um, you get plus DP on your turn. Thousand. Uh, so playing it with Koromon, you're getting 2,000 DP on your turn. Basically, it's saying that you're going to be attacking the stack and not having to worry about dying more often because you're going to be killing the Digimon in the stack. Um, but you get four of these, which are very nice to have. Dracomon, I love this art. It's actually really cool. Um, he is your other vanilla. Your, your cheaper, I believe, yeah, your cheaper uh, level three with more power but no ability. Um, so he's actually pretty cool too. Um, you get four of these, which is nice. Here we go. Bergemon, your vanilla level four. Uh, she's awesome. Uh, beautiful art here. Um, uh, I think I gave credit to the artist on my Twitter, actually. I believe it was him. If not, it was the Greymon, maybe, uh, which is in here. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited. I think he's next. No, it's the blocker. Mm. Yeah. All right. So this is Cordramon. Um, Good blocker. Uh, I say that they're all the same, but uh, Cordramon is the blocker for the red deck, and he is really cool. Really cool design. I had never seen Cordramon um, until this game started coming out, and I was researching and stuff. So four blockers, what you need. Very important in this game. And Greymon, ugh. Greymon's not in the app, so I haven't actually gotten to play with him. And I forgot what his thing does. Uh, security attack plus one with the, uh, yeah, security attack plus one. It's just straight? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay, he's really good. Um, all right, so security attack plus one, which again, you're attacking two cards on the stack. You have six health in this game, five cards to attack, and a, a strike to the person to finish them off. Uh, and you'll see when we get to War Greymon, if you haven't seen him yet, uh, you're going to add one to the security attack. Just remember that. Um, this is G Garudamon. Um, and she's pretty cool too. Uh, what's the effect there again? If your Digimon gets... One of your Digimon gets plus 3,000 DP until the end of your turn. When you play. Yeah, when, yeah. when Digivolved. Yeah, when, when Digivolved. When Evolved. That's different. Alright, so um, when you Evolve into this, you get 3,000 that turn. It's not... It's definitely not the greatest thing in the world. There's another Garudamon coming out in the set. Uh, that's actually better than that. But you need things like this. 7,000. Here we go. Metal Greymon. Love this card. Um, if you get blocked, uh, you uh, get three memory. Mm. Yeah, so it doesn't happen too often, honestly. Um, or hasn't. I don't think I've ever actually set this effect off yet. Uh, that might just be my fault. But um, it's good to have, uh, especially when you get up into the big boy, which we're going to get to here in a second. Next is ho oh mon This art is insane. It looks like it's coming out of the card, honestly. And with the gold all around it, it's just sick. It's kind of hard to see on this one because she covers, or he or she covers it up actually a lot. So you can, it, it, that is kind of a downfall of it. But um, this is the big boy, the big beater of the deck. Uh, two to evolve, uh, but 10 to drop. Um, 12,000. So, and here we go. The Lord, the Lord and Savior Himself. Uh, first, let's just look at this hollow for a second. Look at that. They did a good job on these things. Um, but this is War Greymon. Uh, 12,000 DP, 12 to drop, 4 to evolve. Um, obviously, you see the benefit of playing the vanilla over this if you're in that situation, 2 to evolve, 4 to evolve. But in this deck, if you're not trying to get this out as your main goal, you're crazy. Um, <clears throat> basically, he gets a security attack added for each two or for every two evolution sources under him so you, he has one by himself if he attacks you by himself he hits you for one if you have Koromon and Agumon under him that's another one if you have Greymon and Metal Greymon under him well if you have Greymon under him that's another one then Greymon and Metal Greymon under him that's four so you're taking four out of the six health of the game <laughs> 
in one strike if you, you know, get all the combos and everything you need off with uh, War Greymon. Uh, very good, uh, very scary. Um, you know, that's your target to get off the field if uh, you get uh, squared up against him. Uh, tai, tai, Yagami Tai Chi, uh, he is uh, plus a thousand for the turn for all your Digimon, and it stacks. So if you have all of these out, um, you get that added to the turn. Very cool. Um, this is just your plus 3,000. What's it called? Wing Blade. Yeah, Wing Blade is just your plus 3,000 for the turn uh, on one Digimon, and that's a one cost. So it's kind of your standard little helper here. And the security is what? All of your Digimon get security attack plus one until the end of your next turn. Really? That's good. I didn't even know that. All right. Um, very good. Very good card here. This is a fantastic card. Starlight Explosion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Um, uh, it's a two cost, and when you play it, your security gets plus 7,000 uh, on your opponent's next turn. Which is basically saying, if you attack me next turn, you're going to lose what you're attacking with. Unless you're attacking with a really overpowered something, which uh, is plus 7,000 is a lot. If they run into an Agumon, uh, you're going to have trouble killing it. It says to the uh, end of your opponent's next turn, mm -hmm. and then security is to the end of your turn. Yeah, so like if, if I flip it over, then the rest of you attacking me... You're gonna get messed up. So yeah, Starlight Explosion is very good card, uh, as people are saying anyway. So uh, this is a card I don't know what it is actually. Uh, the one Giga Blaster. One. Giga Blaster. What does it do? Destroy up to two of your opponent's Digimon with four thousand DP or less. So that's pretty cool. Um, you're not gonna see that too too often. Uh, what is the uh, security? security is just activated. Activated on security. So that's pretty cool too. Um, I don't know, people evolve up pretty quickly, I find, so I don't know if this helps too, too much, but uh, it's there if you need that option. Um, and then this is just uh, Gaia Force, your eight drop kill a thing, uh, which is okay. And if you flip, the, the best part about this is if it's in your stack, uh, it kills something. So uh, that is your big, big thing for the deck. So thank you guys so very much uh, for watching. Uh, this is your first time here. I appreciate you sticking around. Uh, I should have more Digimon content in the future. I think me and Dylan are going to play a game. We're going to play a bunch of games, but we might play one on camera. <coughs> if you want to see that. Uh, if not, uh, stick around. We might have some other stuff. I do Bakugan. I do all kinds of other stuff. Um, and we'd love to have you here. But for my normal people here, thanks for watching. And the people who are new. Uh, if you have a, com a comment or question about any of these... Uh, this is all new, it's all in Japanese again. Uh, I can help you uh, understand anything. If you want me to do a hardcore breakdown of the rules video, I can. Uh, there are many on the internet already if you want to go check those out. Uh, if you guys want me to, because you love me or whatever, you know, I will make one for you. Uh, but if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. I'm really excited about this game and I'd love to uh, play it with some of you uh, if possible. So uh, just let me know. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.